All right, well, Sheba, this morning we saw some clouds, a little bit of some light rain and drizzle over the city now, but we're waiting for another batch of rain to come in. You can see, obviously, the rain drops on the camera lens here. Temperatures kind of holding steady. 72 in Slidell with some heavier rain falling there. 68 in Hammond with some clouds. Light rain in town here in Homa, looking at 73 degrees and no rain at the moment, although showers are nearby the Homa area. You can see here over northern Terrebonne Parish. But from Baton Rouge, Hammond back to Picayune, this is our front sinking south where the original batch of rain that came through is off to the east of us now. Producing some steady rain from Franklinton, Angie, Bogalusa area back to Amy, Independence, Hammond, heading into Ponchatoula. And now we're seeing that moving through Manchac, Covington, Mandeville area. And back in a Pro River in Slidell, getting some of that rain. It's moving across the lake here. You can see the causeway, some of those showers with that front sinking southward. Light rain, Laplace area through Kenner and back to the metro area here over in the West Bank. You can see over in Gretna, Terrytown, Marrero, some lighter showers. Back to Chalmette, Araby, back to Gentilly too. And Michoud kind of drying out at least at the moment. But we will see a little more of that rain coming farther south here as that front continues to sink southward. And now the cooler air is going to lag behind this. It's going to take a while for it to get here, but we'll see there's clouds lingering throughout the better part of the day. You can see there's temperatures 56 in Dow, 62 up in Shreveport, Jackson, Mississippi, 64. So that's where their front, they really the cool air front is as that continues to sink south. We'll see there's 50 is into play for tonight. Not quite the 40s, but maybe up McComb could be close to the 40s there. Winds are starting to pick up 8 to 15 miles per hour in town here. And of course, we're watching that uh, collapse side very closely with the rain moving in. Looks like these showers will continue through about lunchtime and taper off this afternoon. Temperatures get to the upper 70s, but those north winds will be around 10 to 15 miles per hour or so during the afternoon and evening hours today. So there's the front moving through here by lunchtime. You can still see some lingering showers out there by one o'clock heading to four o'clock. The cloud cover still across the area, maybe some drizzle. Finally, as we head to dinner time and then by 10 o'clock tonight, we've seen the clouds break up just a little bit tomorrow morning. Looking at mostly clear to clear skies out there, low humidity and definitely quite chilly air, especially north of the lake. And then during the day, we'll see a few more clouds coming into play as we watch our an area low pressure here over the western Gulf. Still a lot of uncertainty with how strong this could get and exactly where it could track. You'll see here the way it looks now. Coastal flooding, a big concern for us Friday and Saturdays. If you love along the coast, don't be surprised to see higher than normal tides and some rain moving in, but potentially depending on where the slow tracks, if it goes over us, we'll get some rain. If it stays just south of the coast, enough drier air behind it, thanks to the upper level low, which is pulling it northward, will help to keep it maybe dry across the area. So that's something we'll be watching closely. 50% chance of development with this. Hurricane hunters may investigate this later today, if not tomorrow, as it goes north and turns to the northeast. Hopefully we can keep it away from our coast line, but that would occur the rain at least Friday through Saturday. Again, some heavy rain and wind, but definitely coastal flooding concerns. But as mentioned, those models not quite in agreement. One says dry, one says wet. So we'll have to see how this plays out for tomorrow. We'll have a better idea by Friday morning, and then we're looking at drier weather Sunday, then wetter weather Monday and Tuesday with another cold front.